I can't believe this. Oh, you're such a lame villain, Ghostess. Your superpowers are so stupid. Who says walking through walls is a stupid superpower? I could literally rob an entire bank as I please and nobody would notice. Compared to others who have to cause so much ruckus and destruction to the point it gets featured on the news. In fact, they should be jealous. And yet, here I am. Ugh. One day, one day, I'll prove them all wrong. I'll show them why they shouldn't have looked down upon me. I'll... I'll be fine. Everything isn't hopeless just yet. Look at the bright side. I still have... Uh... I can... Uh... Ah! Uh. Why am I so bad at motivating myself? <sighs> at least things can't get any worse. Didn't even finish my sentence and now there's a frickin' zombie out of its grave. Staring at me. Uh... Brains... Uh... Grrr. I want brains. So, uh, I disguised myself as a human. And, and I'm here because... Because... You're not buying it, are you? Yeah, forget it. I assume that all zombies are mindless, but apparently I was wrong. That's just great. What are you still doing here? If you're not here for my brains, then you might as well stop wasting your time bothering me and go back to your grave. Why not? You're bored? Well, you're certainly not going to get any more entertainment from me. All I want right now is to be left alone. Got that? I'm sure you're smart enough to understand. So if you want to cure your boredom, I suggest you do it somewhere else. Maybe wake up a couple of your fellow undead and do zombie things or whatever. Just don't tell them I'm here, though. What? Don't tell me you're the only one in this graveyard. What about the other corpses? Snatched away? Wait. Was it a necromancer? White hair, purplish black robe, incredibly complicated staff. I knew it. I was wondering where Zladmir got his undead army from. Yeah, but it's nothing serious. Just a rival of mine. It, hold on. Why am I even talking to you? Do you not understand the concept of personal space? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Naturally getting me into a conversation to... Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm out of here. And don't even think about tagging along, either. And I can tell you're an annoying person to talk to. Because I'm annoyed myself. Now shoo. Ugh. So stupid. Are you following me? Ugh. Good. At least I can get out of here in peace. Huh? Why can't I get through the... Oh. Crap. Crap! I didn't check how much I used my powers today. <sighs> Why do I have to be one of the super people who has a daily limit? What is this, pay to win? Mm, looks like I have to get to the other side the manual way. Now, where's the... Ah! Jeez, you scared the heck out of me. 
How did you even get here anyway? I swear, I didn't even see you. What? You can dig? Huh. You don't see that every day. But didn't I already tell you not to follow me? I guess you really are stupid. Listen, I'm not the type of person to be your friend. Do, do you even know what I am? <sighs> of course you don't. As you can see from my rather devilish outfit, I'm a villain. Yes, that's a problem. I'm evil, scandalous, malicious, and other synonyms for evil. You get my point. If I move to the lighter side by making a friend like you, who knows how much lower my reputation can go. Maybe low enough to beat everyone else at limbo. Oh, don't give me that look. There's nothing you can do to make me change my mind. So just go away so I can... Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. Well, maybe I'll consider being your friend on one condition. If you help me get out of here, I'll come visit you again so we can, uh, talk. And nobody has to know about it. A win-win for both of us. Deal? Okay, now go find me a ladder, or anything I can use to help me climb over this wall, and make it snappy. <laughs> that zombie thinks we'll be friends. <laughs> Sentient, yet gullible. Hmm. Maybe so gullible that I think... You, you're back already? You probably didn't even start checking. Huh? But I thought no one else was with you. Uh, excuse me. What? You're kidding. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're friends with rats? <laughs> Maybe you'd do well as a comedian. <laughs> oh yeah? Where's your proof? Whoa! All right then. That... That's a huge rat. On your shoulder. Er... Uh, hi? Daryl? Uh, uh, oh, gosh, he just... Spoke? T talking rats? Wow, uh, that's new. Uh, interesting. I'm, uh, speechless. Why didn't you tell me you already had friends? Ugh, really? I could have just left you alone anyway. Uh, so I can tell all my friends how cool yours are. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be so pleased to meet you and your giant talking rats. <laughs> um, so have they found anything yet? What's... Daryl doing with his tail. You're telling me that they can communicate with each other from far away using their tails? I guess it's kind of cool. Admittedly a bit absurd, but yeah. Oh, uh, any good news, Daryl? Darn. That's unfortunate. But thanks anyway. Dang it. Okay, fine. You can suggest something. As long as I can leave ASAP. 
lift me. Hmm. That actually isn't a bad idea. I don't really have much time to question how strong or tall you are, so just get ready. There. Nice and steady. No, I'm not. I'm on a diet for crying out loud. Stop complaining and do your job. Come on. You didn't seem to have any issues carrying Daryl, and he's huge. Also, don't the undead feel no pain? Never mind. Just a little more... Hey, why are you shaking all of a sudden? So what? Moths aren't dangerous. So, you're afraid of bugs and not rodents? What kind of logic is- Whoa! Seriously, stop it. Do you want me to fall? Stay still. <sighs> that was close. Just keep lifting. Uh, now what? Uh-oh. Hold it in. Don't- Ah! Sneeze. Ow. Gee, you think? I feel like I fractured my knee. Oh god, it better not be fractured. Ah. Uh, I swear to god. If I find out who's responsible for all the bad luck I've had today, I'll tear their skin off. What are you looking at? It's not impossible that someone is responsible for all this. Seriously, why do I have to suffer so much? Then again, I am the villain, so I suppose that's just karma coming back to bite me. That's not it. Oh my god, really? How many times should I have to tell you that moths are harmless? It's not like it's gonna, I don't know, eat my shoulder as we speak. What are you... Ow! Ah! What the heck is wrong with you? You could have just swatted it away. Yeah, but you bit my shoulder in the process, you dolt. Wait, you... You... You bit me. Don't you know? I'm gonna turn into a zombie any minute now because of your infectious bite. <sighs> Fair point. Considering you don't seem like the type of zombie to bite anyone. <sighs> That's it. I've officially reached rock bottom. Well, I guess that means it can't get worse. Oh, me and my big mouth. Gah! <sighs> Uh, quickly, hide in these conveniently placed bushes. No way. It's him. Every villain's worst nemesis. OP man. It's exactly what it says on the tin. He's the most powerful superhero in the history of the entire universe. Not even the best villains could stop him. How was he able to find me? Right, this is OP man we're dealing with here. Why wouldn't he know where I am? Most likely. But maybe I can... Ow. N no. I think... I think I feel it. It's... It's starting. I'm... Transforming, idiot! I... I can't hold it back anymore. I... I... must... must eat... eat... yes... brains... Hey, um, you can come out now. I've come back to my senses, 
unfortunately. Nah, I only got one of them. The rest chickened out. Even OP man. <laughs> Turns out he has a fear of zombies. Guess he isn't that OP after all. What's wrong? Right, he broke the gate earlier. So that means... Hmm. Ah, oh, screw this. It's pretty much useless now. But not the gate. I mean, me being a villain. In this state? I mean, everyone hates me. Even my colleagues. So, I guess nobody would care if I was gone, right? I'll think about it. But you still need to pay for nearly costing me my knee earlier. How about... You find me some more brains to eat. Fine. I'll consider animal brains. As long as it's good. Say, how do you survive without eating brains? Is that so? Whatever. <sighs> I'm taking a nap. For the next couple of nights, I expect freshly caught brains from you. Wake me up when it's dusk again, okay? Can somebody, like, give me a high five for managing to record this while they're actively plowing snow outside my window? <laughs> Please.